YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got a video response here for Nintendo Hodge. He actually tagged me a long time ago. Well, not really a long time ago, but probably over a couple weeks ago here um, on five nostalgia games that I've never played before. Five, I guess, classic games or five games that you should have played by now that you haven't played before. And he had some pretty interesting stuff in his list as well. Uh, this video response has taken a while to get to, not because I actually knew about it, I just found out about it uh, right after I saw a video from Musty Hobbit answering the same question and um, he had said that he had been tagged by Nintendo Hodge and that sort of made me piggyback uh, backwards and I went and looked at Nintendo Hodge's video and actually found out that I was tagged by him. So thanks for tagging me man because actually um, I was looking forward to you know doing a video like this. And I think I saw other people's video entries and did not even realize that I had been tagged yet. So I'm going to get down to this right now. The first one here is a game that, you know, every single person uh, goes absolutely ballistic for, especially with the uh, current Pokemon Go kind of thing. But I've never played a Pokemon game in my life. Uh, this is one of them here. Uh, I have pretty much all of the handheld ones for sure. Lots of different ones in my library as well. And I've never played a Pokemon game. And um, much like... Uh, I think it was Musty Hobbit was in the same boat. He sort of said that, you know, in the past, when he was a kid and Pokemon stuff kind of came out, he was just past that sort of age uh, bracket where it was being marketed toward. And that's really where I was at too, I think, uh, when this Pokemon stuff, and sort of Pokemon craze in North America kind of came out. I was sort of above and beyond that as far as like my age category went. So I never got into it. Um, going back now and taking a look at it, for me, it's just a little bit overwhelming, I think. There's so many different aspects to all these different Pokemon things and the universe and all that kind of stuff. It might not be as difficult as I think it is. Um, I don't think it'd be difficult to play the games necessarily. It's just uh, to keep up with like all the different Pokemon that there are. Uh, it's just absolutely um, absurd, I think, the number that there are. I don't even know what it is. Uh, just to be able to you know, play these games kind of would take a lot of... Uh, of knowledge that I don't have about Pokemon stuff. So that's really why I've avoided that one. I wouldn't really say it's a game uh, that I necessarily want to go and play necessarily, like I'm saying, because of all that stuff before just getting sort of caught up on it would be very difficult to do. Um, but as far as uh, something that, you know, like a lot of gamers have played and have a ton of nostalgia for and so much appreciation for, I'm just not necessarily one of those guys. So that's really one of those reasons why it's on my list. Uh, next one here. And I love the original Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, but I've never played uh, Super Punch-Out, and I've had this in my collection for quite a long time now, so I really need to get around to this one and play this one. I played the Wii version, um, which are whatever it's called, the uh, Super Punch-Out, or I can't remember what that one on the Wii is called, but you can, I'm sure you'll remind me down below. But I played that one a little bit. I played you know, the original Mike Tyson's Punch-Out like crazy when I was a kid, but never played Super Punch-Out. And this was actually on uh, one of my Super Nintendo kind of lists, so I really wanted to get this game. And then once I got this game, I got it with a bunch of other things and never uh, got around to actually playing this. So I should probably keep it out uh, when I'm done this video instead of recataloging it and get down to it on this one because I really do want to enjoy that one. Um, another one coming from the Super Nintendo and uh, a couple of these are actually from the Super Nintendo and the reason why that is is I never had one as a kid. So that's really the reason uh, I haven't played a whole lot of Super Nintendo necessarily. I mean, I'm starting to get into it. It's one of the systems I really like to collect for. It's one of the systems I like to play. Uh, but I haven't played necessarily all of them and I'm a pretty busy guy these days so I don't really get a lot of chance to play a lot of RPGs but uh, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars is definitely one of them and I know this one's a classic so I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for not having played this one and calling myself a retro gamer but like I said when I was a kid I didn't have a Super Nintendo so I never got around to this one and uh, there's a few other things on my list before I get to this one but a pretty amazing title that I totally missed out on uh, back in the day and I do have my collection so I really should get down to it soon and then the last one here uh, sorry not the last one here the last Super Nintendo one here is a game that you know is in, again in high reverence um, I have the Japanese version I do not have the North American version of it because it's pretty uh, pricey especially in uh, my parts kind of here but uh, that game's the uh, sorry is Chrono Trigger um, this one here again same kind of idea 
didn't have a Super Nintendo back in the day. Another RPG I should try to get into. Uh, this is no problem that this one's in Japanese because I do have the translation patch and all that kind of stuff where it's easy to play these on the Retron 5, but it's just a matter of sitting down and actually playing it and I've never gotten around uh, to get into this one. It's pretty high up on my list just because a lot of people I know, it's like in their sort of top list of games that they should play for the Super Nintendo. And it's really one that I should be playing too, but I just never got around to it. And it's kind of a bummer. I kind of uh, probably keep this one out actually and uh, put this one in, in the next few days here because um, for some reason it's just always been something that I passed over and moved on to something else. So I should really get to this one because I know that people love this one very much. And uh, something a little more, not current gen, but um, lately. And this is kind of funny because this is absolutely one of my favorite series of all time. And I just never got around to putting this one in the PS3. And it's really strange because I was so pumped to get it. And I'm not normally like a day one buy kind of person. I really wait for a deal to come out on games before I'd even consider buying them from a store. Um, you know, I'm more of a thrift shopper, uh, garage sale kind of guy. So this is sort of something that, you know, I'm really ashamed actually. But I've never played this and I probably should keep this one out and play it too. And it's Deception uh, 4 Blood Ties. And this one here, um, when it came out, I was so pumped to get it. I was like in anticipation for getting this. And when I got it, I never even opened it. I mean, it's still factory sealed. I'm pretty embarrassed to say that uh, because I was so pumped uh, to get this. I was waiting for it to come out. Like I was saying, it's one of my favorite series. And I played uh, Deception 3 on the PS1. That was one of my absolute all-time favorite PS1 games. And, um, you know, I played Trapped on the uh, PS2, which is another one in the series, but this is like the next one in the series kind of thing. And uh, unbelievable that I have not popped this in yet. I probably should go about doing this because, I mean, I bought this one um, when it launched kind of thing, which is something I no normally do. I was so hyped about it, and I just got in a, a bit of a rut. I wasn't really playing a whole lot. I think I was cleaning games more than I was playing them. And uh, I never got around to this one, so now that I have a little bit of time here, I might actually uh, spend a little time playing this one because this is pretty pretty amazing game and probably not one that you hear a whole lot about all the time, but absolutely fun game. Um, you should check out you know the different ones in the series. I really highly recommend uh, Deception 3 though on the PS1. Absolutely a fun title. This one probably could be very similar or amazingly the same, but again, never played it. So. Kind of bummed that you know I haven't got around to this one, but that's everything there. Uh, tell me what you think. I know these are some pretty heavy hitters here that I've totally missed out on, and I probably uh, should kind of get on this because it's pretty crazy uh, and I missed out on these games. But I'd like to thank Nintendo Hutch for um, you know tagging me in this. Really appreciate it, man. I'm sorry it took me so long to get back to you. I didn't even realize that you had put a video out for this. Uh, something didn't come up in my feed or I missed it or maybe it was just coming around a diff uh, not difficult but rather a busy time for me or something like that because I totally missed out on the fact and it's a good thing that I must see how it put out that video or I probably would have never even known about it so that's everything I got for you guys tell me what you think thanks again for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do go check out all those other channels I probably need to tag a few more people here so I'm gonna have to think of this off the top of my head so uh, first one I want to uh, tag here is buried on Mars I know he's got a pretty extensive collection of games there and there's probably not everything that he's played necessarily in there. I really want to hear about what he has uh, going on there. Alright, so the second person that I want to tag here is Gamer Alley BT. I know he's got a pretty decent collection going on right now. Uh, someone who I see at the shows all the time and I'd love to see what games he has in his collection or uh, games that he wishes that he had played that he hasn't played before. So I'm looking forward to a video from him and also I'd like to uh, tag Yoshi who is a, a member of the sort of Tuesday night ha Google Hangouts uh, that we do. He does a lot of like uh, tech kind of videos these days, but I want to see what he has in his collection or what he, you know, thinks he should have played that he hasn't gotten around to play before. So those are my three taggies. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.